in today's video we're going to be making keto chicken cordon bleu so we're going to be making it in the air fryer today you can also make this in the oven but we're going to be showing you how to make it really easy in the air fryer it's a really simple recipe and we're also going to be making the dijon sauce to go with it let's get into the video but before we do if you're new here and you like keto and low carb recipes please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be updated every time we drop a video all right so in this recipe we're going to be using four large chicken breasts so um this is going to be the amount that i'm using for this recipe okay so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna butterfly the chicken open so you're just gonna take each one and um, butterfly it and don't cut it all the way through just cut it up until the middle that way when you open it it'll look just like this and make it to where you're gonna be able to fill it inside and then roll it up is what we're gonna need to do so let's just get this done with all the rest of the breasts and then um, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now we have them all cut open. Now it is time to flatten them. You don't have to beat them too hard because then it might not be good if one rips open, but um, that has happened to me before. So just lightly beat them uh, until they get flat and um, that is what you want. You want to be able to roll them up. So you're going to stuff them and then you're going to roll them up. So they're not going to roll up too good if they are just as is especially with these large chicken breasts they are pretty thick so we definitely do want to flatten them as much as we can all right so we have all of our chicken flattened and we're just going to flip them over um so right now what i have is facing up is the outside of the chicken breast and we're just going to lightly season them all with salt and pepper or you know whatever seasonings that you normally do just do salt and pepper to taste and you don't really need that much salt because we're gonna bread these with pork rinds and pork rinds are already salty is going to be the now the ones that are facing up is the part that we're going to actually stuff um, with the ham and cheese inside so turn them over and go ahead and do the same thing season them with salt and pepper or whatever you're seasoning them with all right so we are using swiss cheese uh for the cheese in this recipe so um if you don't like swiss cheese or you want to use a different kind of cheese that's totally up to you but the way we're going to place them inside is we're going to put two pieces, especially in a large chicken breast. You're going to want to use two and just overlap them. If you're using really small chicken breasts, then of course, you know, if it only fits one slice, then just do one slice. But for these two fit overlapping and we're going to do that to each chicken breast. And then we're pretty much going to do the same thing with the ham these deli ham slices i'm using are super thin they're like paper thin I happen to be using like four of them but do it however you prefer it so if you don't want a lot of the ham inside then you know just don't put a lot but for a large chicken breast just do two overlapping it's fine but if they're paper thin then do it however you prefer so that's pretty much going to be the inside of our chicken so that is pretty much done so now you're going to start at the very bottom where uh, the chicken breast you know kind of comes in a little bit narrow and you're going to start rolling them up and then what you want to do is you want to put where the chicken ends meet you want to put that facing down so that when it's cooking in the air fryer you know it kind of stays and doesn't come unraveled 
So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the process for all the chicken. And then actually, I think it, um, this is going to be your preference. You can either leave them just like that if you think they'll be okay. But if not, if you want to be extra careful, you can also place some toothpicks to hold it together, which I went ahead and decided to go ahead and do the toothpicks just because I don't want them to somehow come undone in the air fryer, especially during the video. So, um, go ahead and place your toothpicks just like one on each end or I'm doing three, one in the middle and one on each end. And, but hey, if you don't think you need the toothpicks, then, you know, that's optional. So let's go ahead and finish rolling these up and move on to the next step. All right, so now I'm just getting a shallow bowl and I'm going to crack my eggs for these four large chicken breasts. I actually used two eggs. So normally when you do like a buttermilk type of mixture, um, with heavy cream, it's usually about a tablespoon of heavy cream per egg. So for this, I used two eggs. So we're adding in two tablespoons of heavy cream. All right, and then you just want to whisk up the egg with the heavy cream until your eggs are all beaten and it's well mixed with the heavy cream. And then uh, we're going to use that as the egg wash before we dip it into the pork rinds. All right, so now in a separate bowl or a plate or even a bag if you want to, we're going to add in the stuff for the breading. So this is one cup of crushed pork rinds. Also, we are adding in half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And we're going to season it with half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder. We're going to add in one teaspoon of paprika and one tablespoon of dried parsley. And again, if you want to add salt, you can. I'm not going to add salt because I feel like the pork rinds have enough salt in them already. So go ahead and just mix that all up until all your seasonings are mixed in pretty well with the pork rinds. And then we will show you how to do the last part before we put the chicken in to cook in the air fryer. All right, so now we are ready to do the last part before we get to cook these chicken breasts. So we're going to get each breast and we're just going to kind of roll it into the egg wash. Make sure it gets pretty well covered to help the pork rind breading mixture stick really good to the chicken. So um, do that and then dip it into the pork rinds. If you prefer to do this part in a bag, which I sometimes do, then by all means do it. I just wanted you guys to get a good view. So whatever is easier for you. Um, sometimes I do the bag, sometimes I do it on a plate. It just depends on what I'm making. And since these chicken breasts are larger, um, I just find it easier to do it in a shallow bowl. Fryer tray or air fryer basket. Alright, so now let's place our chicken into the air fryer. We're going to put them in the air fryer at 400 degrees um, for about 8 to 10 minutes per side. Make sure you spray each side with cooking spray. Then after 8 to 10 minutes, flip them over. Alright, so the hard part is over. Now, while those are cooking in the air fryer, let's go ahead and make this super simple Dijon sauce that is going to go on top of your chicken. We're going to start off by adding in um, one cup of heavy cream into a medium sized saucepan. That's going to go on medium low heat. 
Okay, now we're adding in half a cup of chicken broth. And here I have one teaspoon of thyme. You don't have to use thyme. You can use whatever seasoning you normally like to use. You can use Italian seasoning or whatever. I'm using thyme. I'm also adding in half a teaspoon of black pepper. And here I have six tablespoons of butter and then just kind of let that dissolve in and melt in with the heavy cream and the seasonings. And here I have two tablespoons of Dijon mustard that we're going to add in. So get that all in there. And then just kind of stir that around until the butter melts. All right, so now we're also going to add in one ounce of cream cheese. It does help if it's at room temperature. If you don't have time to put it at room temperature, just put, put it in the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds. And then we're also adding in one cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. If you absolutely don't have shredded Parmesan cheese, you can add in grated cheese. It's fine. Um, it really just helps with the flavor of the sauce. So um, I prefer to use the shredded Parmesan, but if grated is all you have, um, I've actually used that before too. So just mix that in until the cream cheese is uh, dissolved into the sauce, and then we're pretty much done. And then we'll just remove it from the heat and set it to the side. All right, guys, the chicken cordon bleu is done, and it looks good. We'll just got to give it a taste. All right, guys, so we went ahead and pulled these out of the air fryer. They look good. As you can see, the cheese is melted inside. All right, so let's get one of these onto a plate, and let's see how it looks on the inside, and let's see how it tastes. So as you can see, the cheese is oozing out from the inside. And then we're going to top it with this Dijon sauce. All right, let's cut this open and let's show you what it looks like on the inside. So the chicken is soft and it looks like it's moist. It's not dry. And as you can see, the cheese is nice and melted on the inside, which is what you want. All right, guys, so the chicken cordon bleu is done. So here it is here. Got some sauce on there, too. So let's see what it tastes like. Mm. That sauce is so good. It's a creamy Dijon sauce. It goes with the chicken cordon bleu. Please try it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.